this was a project that was in the works for a while. I remember there was some talk about it back almost in the mid 2000s. So did it did its conception have to change a lot? Because say, if you were originally thinking of revisiting the characters 10 years later, now you're revisiting them 20 years later. It wasn't so much that it changed, it became, it was the only way that it made sense really to do it now. Mm -hmm. we, you're right, we tried it 10 years ago and it wasn't, it was not good. We didn't even send it to the actors. It felt like a rehash, which sequels can be, you know, there's nothing wrong with that necessarily, but it didn't feel like it would, we would do honor to the first one if we just rehashed it. Mm -hmm. And it was just a caper, really a slightly different caper, but everything was the same basically. Mm -hmm. And in fact, the actors didn't even look that different. And I used to joke as an excuse then that they moisturized and they looked after themselves <laughs> and they didn't seem to age. There was a bit of the Dorian Gray about actors and stuff like that. But actually it was, I realized that it was John and I, the screenwriter who weren't ready to actually make a decent film yet. And it was only after a true reckoning amount of time, 20 years passed, and, went, and they also turned, and they did, and the actors did look different, that that gave us a reason to make the film, because then it's the tension between what they'd done before and where they were now, whereas there really wasn't any in that shorter period, you know?